This is a balance wheel. You'll find one in every watch in the world. This is a tuning fork. It runs on an electronic circuit and keeps time by vibrations. The Accutron timepiece uses this tuning fork instead of the balance wheel. At the time that Accutron came out in 1960, it was really the first quantum leap in wristwatch technology. And really since the very first watches were developed um, in the uh, 16th century, an oscillator is the fundamental prerequisite for precision timekeeper. A pendulum is an oscillator used in clocks, but a pendulum is a lousy oscillator to try to put into a watch. So for centuries, every single portable timekeeper has had a balanced wheel with a balanced spring. And the higher the frequency gets, usually the better precision gets. A tuning fork is an oscillator, just like a pendulum, just like a balance. And what you had with a tuning fork Accutron was a very, very high frequency oscillator. In a single stroke, you had a watch that was an order of magnitude more precise and more accurate than any watch that uh, had ever existed before. Accutron, it's so precise, issued to X-15 pilots by the United States government. One of the most charming characteristics, I think, of the Accutron is the F-sharp hum that the tuning fork emits. You know, you have this wonderful... Uh, mm, this was the age where being on the cutting edge of technological progress was something that everybody was interested in. What comes to mind when you think about the Citizen Watch Group? Perhaps affordable, rugged Promaster timepieces? Or maybe you think of luxurious looking Belova watches built for the everyman. But under this dominating market umbrella, the financial drippings from high volume timepiece sales trickle down into Area 51 level horological projects. And in the same vein as top secret government projects, the innovations of Accutron would catch the eyes of the CIA and Air Force contractors who needed the most advanced watch of the time for some highly confidential missions. Allow me to present to you a letter sent to Belova Customer Relations by United States Air Force retired Lieutenant Colonel Frank Murray, who wore his Accutron astronaut in some of the most covert missions of the Cold War. Gentlemen, my name is Frank Murray, and I live in Gardnerville, which is a small town in the northwest part of Nevada. Over the last 40 years, I have owned a number of Belova watches. I have a thing to tell you, a sort of testimonial about a class of Belova watches. I bet you do not know anything about how and why the CIA used a certain Belova watch in the early days of developing the Lockheed A-12 Blackbird. I think the people that work at Belova would like to know what I have to relate. The A-12 airplane first flew in April 1962. Several years of developmental testing took place before the airplane flew its reconnaissance role in the Far East. This airplane operates at speeds well above Mach 3, at altitudes up to 90,000 feet. The environmental conditions inside the cockpit saw temperatures as high as 140 degrees at the end of cruise legs, where the fuel remaining was insufficient to provide the needed heat sink for the air conditioning system. Ordinary wristwatches worn by the pilots on the outside of their pressure suits were not holding up to these temperatures. A decision was made to try a unique type of watch in this setting. The Belova Accutron astronaut model held up to testing. So the CIA decided to furnish the Belova watch to the CIA pilots flying the A-12. The CIA provided each pilot with a new Belova astronaut watch. These watches became the property of the pilots and they stayed with the pilots when the program ended in mid-1968. I still have my issued watch and it runs fine after all these years. Later in the letter, he then encloses two brochures of operations the watch participated in, as well as a picture of his very own Accutron astronaut, complete with a bracelet he sourced from Hong Kong. NASA would also take great interest in Accutron's technology for use in the space program. Accutron would see the limelight during the Apollo 11 mission, in which despite a different watch being worn on wrist by the first man on the moon, inside the spacecraft, Accutron instrument clocks. Buzz Aldrin, despite wearing a certain Swiss timepiece on his wrist, would put an Accutron timer inside his lunar vehicle. Accutron was not just a watch brand, 
it became synonymous with some of the most heroic and daring moments of American history. So much so that in 1964, Lyndon B. Johnson would make the Belova Accutron watch the official gift of state, and Air Force One would utilize Accutron tech in their instrument clusters on board. It doesn't get more illustriously American than this. But the tuning fork caliber could only be on top for so long. Japanese watchmaker Seiko would debut the first ever production quartz watch in 1969, starting a revolution of accurate, mass-produced, affordable watches. It was time for Accutron to hang it up. Even though Japan signaled the obsolescence of Accutron tech with the quartz watch, a Japanese company, ironically, would become the resurrection place for Accutron. In 2008, Citizen Watch Group would acquire Bulova, giving them access to some serious manufacturing firepower and world-class electronic engineering talent. The patent for the tuning fork caliber would be among the acquisition paperwork, but first they had to re-establish Accutron as the world leader in electronic high horology. So, after just under a decade of research and development, Accutron brought a brand new timekeeping concept to our wrists. The Accutron Space View 2020. It took a concept usually reserved for industrial equipment and science projects and turned it into a fully operational wrist-mounted spectacle of timekeeping, utilizing magnetic forces to spin turbines as the wearer moves their body. The static electricity would be harnessed in a capacitor powering the five second a month complication. Finally, Accutron would be back in the game, but they never forgot where they started. Now in 2025, the product of over 10 years of R&D from Accutron, the tuning fork is back to life. Marking the first quarter of the 21st century, it's ready to conquer our curiosity once again. Exquisite Timepieces is proud to offer for pre-sale today, the Accutron Space View 314 tuning fork revival. It's a modern update of the revolutionary complication that left the world in awe in the 60s as it secretly went to the moon and to enemy airspaces and spy planes, encasing the Japan-made hand-assembled Accutron Caliber Y230 is your choice of 904L stainless steel, grade 5 titanium, or 18 karat yellow gold. Here's what they did to get this piece up to modern spec. Peering into the watch face, we can see the Elvenar Tuning Fork, a modern alloy often used for hair springs due to its unique resistance to stress, rust, magnets, and temperature. This watch is a product of fully integrated and vertical manufacturing, ensuring every part meets very strict QC standards. Silicium replaces jewels in some areas for performance and longevity advantages. The technology used to manufacture the parts in Accutron's Japan facility is cutting edge. X-ray LIGA systems are used to create ultra high tolerance parts within microns of size. It's an unbelievable feat of engineering. So despite this watch being so different from anything we have on the market right now, spec sheet is still important. So let's go through the motions. 39 millimeter case size with the box sapphire peering into the open dial work. Sapphire case back shows off the gold tone Coste de Genève bottom layer. 30 meters of water resistance, Luminova hands and indices ready for dark spy plane cockpits. No matter which case material you choose, these watches all come on genuine leather straps. Accuracy is plus or minus two seconds a day. Finally, prices. $5,990 for the 904L steel model, $6,200 for grade five titanium, and if you're on CIA bankroll, $31,500 for 18 karat gold. So many factors come together to make this watch truly special for watch enthusiasts. It's an illustrious American icon, a historical step in watch technology, and a warmly welcome oddball timepiece made possible by some of the best technology and talent in Japan. 
Before you buy your next watch from ExquisiteTimePieces.com or contact our top-rated team, consider accuracy through electronics. Accutron. I'm Matt from Exquisite Time Pieces. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Thank you for your time.